Undertow is a story of a photojournalist grieving the loss of her stillborn child and is drawn into an obsessive relationship with a pregnant teenager. We're about to have a chat with the film's director, Miranda Nation, and actress, Laura Gordon. Let's go. Have you thought about some kind of rebirth? Sometimes it can be very healing. Does she want the baby? How should I know? What do you want? I guess I threw a lot of different things at it. I often do that. I'm not quite sure what's going to stick. So I sort of try a bunch of stuff. I definitely started with a script. The script Miranda wrote was such a wonderful blueprint. So just really going through that with a, a fine tooth comb and trying to analyse what it was that Claire was trying to achieve through the film at different points. There were also parts of the film that I really needed to research because the film does start with Claire suffering this uh, pregnancy loss, having uh, losing her baby in, in childbirth. I listened to a lot of women talk about their experience of um, having a stillborn baby and yeah, just really trying to understand that as much as I could from other women's stories. I didn't feel like it was gratuitous or it was um, it, I was being objectified in any way. So I think when I understand why it's in there, it makes it easier to then go, okay, well, that's, that's something that I want to have as a part of this film and this performance to tell our story. It was a, an all-female camera crew, and which was a delight. Having said that, I have worked with you know a, a male cinematographer and had a good experience. I don't think you have to have a female yeah. um, cinematographer in order to do nudity, but it definitely was. Um, it was it was just made it smooth and easy, and I felt really supported and safe. One of the things that drew me to Undertow and the role of Claire, also the role of Angie, is that they are such dynamic, troubled, damaged hopeful, full-hearted female roles and they represent many elements of the female experience in a way that I think is we're crying out for as an audience. One thing that I learned about women in making Undertow is how powerful they are and can be and you know even when there's all sorts of things going on under the surface we still find a way to get up and go about our lives and, and figure it out. And it's, sometimes it's messy and it's not pretty and it's, it's really difficult. But you can really kind of be proud of what we can achieve. Having made a number of shorts, I felt I knew how to, to, um, to be on set and, and how to um, run a set, etc. I guess probably the the bit that is a more difficult transition or was for me was in post so you know keeping kind of this the whole of a short in your mind and being able to run through it in your mind and see you know the beginning the middle and the end and how it all fits together when it's a 12 or a 15 minute short it's a lot easier than trying to keep you know an hour and a half or an hour you know 40 minutes when I first started writing the script that wasn't something that I had encountered although um, you know, I imagined that that was one of the greatest traumas that um, someone could suffer and, and be dealing with. And then it was kind of a bit of a case of art imitating life, imitating art um, throughout the process of preparing the film and um, making the film. Mm. I, my partner and I decided to, you know, try and become parents and um, we have two daughters now who were both born during the making of the wow, film. Oh my goodness. Um, and we also had three miscarriages, sort of, you know, in, in that journey. It was definitely um, something that I did very consciously. Um, I think, you know, there's other examples of really strong female-led stories and more and more are, um, both being made and there's, I think there's always been an appetite for those stories, but I think that we're now acknowledging that there is that appetite and there's a really great push um, to hear female voices and for those films to be made and supported. Each of the heads of departments had a female in the role. Some were um, shared roles and um, sometimes there was a male and a female. 
um, we had an all-female camera crew, which is yeah. quite unusual. Yeah, was and, that intentional? Or? Yes, um, Bonnie Elliott, who's the DP, she always works with a, an all-female camera crew and she's, you know, um, very vocal in wanting to support women in the industry and in what is typically a quite a male-dominated mm -hmm. area. In, in the years of developing it, I found that as soon as I started talking about it, everyone had a story about losing a pregnancy or their partner losing a pregnancy um, or their sister or, you know, there was so many people who had experienced this, but no one was really talking about it. And I think there is still a huge stigma, I, I don't know why, around sharing um, stories of that loss. Undertow will be released in cinemas around Australia on March the 5th.